Jupiter, expansion, gratitude, morality, enlightenment, Sagittarian and Piscean energy. That is literally the essence of adventurism, of imagination, of exploration, of literally expansion, Jupiter energy. Sacred union, Juno. Like, okay, hello collective, it's Kai, Psyche Kai. I'm here as a channel as much as part of the fucking collective. And I'm going to be doing a very deep download, so I'm just going to let it through. Um, I will say that I am human. I, too, experience ego. So I'm just going to put that out there. Use your discernment, man, in anything, in everything. Use your own fucking discernment because you have the delight of making a decision just for your damn self. So I'm going to begin. Sacred Union. At the bottom of the deck, conjunction, unity, autonomy, individuation, inner self, self-motivation, concentration, personal interest. I followed the soul's calling in a direction that fucked with me. Being parentified as a child taking things too serious, allowing myself the pleasure of enjoying things that actually bring joy into my life, that entice, inspire, integrate. Empress energy. I have not tapped into this fucking energy in a fucking minute. In a fucking minute. And I'm not even surprised as much as I'm fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> I am so fucking uncomfortable, literally 90 square, 90 degrees, square. Resistance, struggle, obstacles, experience, effort, learning, conflict, obsession, problems. My fucking God. Do you ever experience that thing with someone where you're like, I literally love you so much, I want you to choose whatever brings joy, peace, and love into your life. And if choosing me is something that is not that, if I'm not a choice for you, please walk away. Please leave. Please do not say anything to me. I do not exist because at the same time that love is so precious and so fucking valuable, literally so fucking valuable, that I have put so many fucking intentional words, thoughts, actions, feelings, experiences within. I put fucking effort. I learned my fucking lesson. I learned my fucking lesson to give myself so fucking fully to another person to lose my fucking identity is so debilitating. Making out with someone that I have no fucking feelings towards, especially as a spectrosexual demisexual. Like, I, I, I cannot, I cannot lie. I'm a Scorpio sun, Scorpio Mercury. Literally the way that I communicate and think is honest. <laughs> It's true. I'm not going to sting you with my stinger because scorpions have a stinger for the utmost dense poison that is within the being, the dark, divine, masculine and feminine energies. Every single thing that I've experienced, I have learned from and I've moved forward from because it is what, it ma it is what makes me and what I make of it. Why would I fucking lit? Okay, let's run it back. Sorry. Uh, this is truly what time is it? 10 14, October 29th, Tuesday of 2024. For the past few days, I've been feeling like absolute fucking dirt. <laughs> Literal fucking dirt. And I felt disgusting at some points. I felt depressed and debilitated. Literally decompressed of all my energy. Definitely fucking burnt out. 
definitely fucking burnt out. It was moods of don't fuck with me right now. Okay, I can learn, take a deep breath. Oh shit, my fucking body is so fucking sick of me. So full of shit. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to put myself down, continue to gaslight my experience, stifle my own fucking voice, suppress my fucking emotions. To an extent, yes, I do take it seriously. Because if you do not understand, I will not debilitate myself for the reality in which I live. I'm literally living it. Being so fucking full of peace by being with the self and understanding that I too am a human and I make questionable fucking choices. Choices that I have chosen out of my own free will that I am granted with, despite the plan that the soul chooses. When you come to earth, we are experiencing the source. We are all within the soul's experience and yet we fucking incarnate. As a physical being in the physical dimension, that allows us to have different experiences, to have different challenges, to respond, to react differently. That is literally what it is. That's why I say that there is no one better or worse than me and I am not better or worse than anyone else. There are things that I do differently and I wish to continue to do differently. I could be so fucking mad at this bruh. I could be so fucking mad at this bitch. I could be so fucking mad at myself. I could literally, even saying those words hurt my voice because it's not true. I respect her because literally that amount of fucking courage and strength and resilience and integrity, such fucking strength, truly. I admire and respect her and her choices. So that is why I take a step back. That is why I disconnect my own energy to also give myself that respect. No, you do not fucking talk to me like that and expect me to be okay. That is not okay. Me taking your word, your actions also follow through. And it confirmed emotions within my own experience so that I could actually make a decision based on my fucking needs and desires. I do not desire to be fucking controlled. You cannot control me. I do not desire being defined by singular fucking instant. Ooh, that is so fucking real shit though. What is the essence of being your inner child? It is to not take shit so seriously, but also, yes, literally, they do not take shit personal because they let it go. Maybe you want to call it like easy to forgive. No, literally kids do not give two shits. They're just enjoying their fucking time. And when they're not, they're not. That is literally what it is. But maturing and being able to have civil fucking conversation Communicate. Understanding and going through the process of how you feel. Do you know how important that is? I'm not saying that another person needs to go at the same fucking process or pace or notice the same things. That's not the fucking point. Love is unconditional. Love is non-judgmental. Love is peace. Is choice. It's presence. So uh, I've been going through it and I'm probably actually gonna post this on both accounts. That sounds like fun. I'm trying to change it up guys. Cause I realize, you know what? <laughs> it's too comfortable. And I don't mean that in a way where it's like, push yourself always. No, fuck. I just told you guys I'm burnt out from doing that. Please learn from me at least. <laughs> 
That's why I am the way that I am because I work so fucking hard until I literally get tired emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, literally. And yet, I do have many blessings upon this spiritual experience, tapping into my spiritual gifts. Quite many things to be grateful for. Because I'm here. And I had this experience recently that made me feel really disgusting and disgusted by myself. And I, I just honestly, I'm just going to focus on what I do best. Living with spirit as me in my ways. So hello, if you're new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> This is a mix of my own experience, but also not really talking about it, guys. Like, honestly, I share a lot. <laughs> there are certain things that are private, for sure. And there are aspects of it that I wish to continue to share with you guys to remain vulnerable and authentic to a degree. To a very high degree, yeah. So I have my Rider Waite, I have my Astrology Oracle deck. And I am here to give not only a collective reading, um, I am a part of the collective. This is our collective. We're here fucking, bruh. <laughs> bruh, we are here. We are literally here together. So, yes, I tap into different... <laughs> Do you see the way that shit just fucking... <laughs> I love that it's facing you guys. So, yeah, this is more of the collective energy. Tapping into the different aspects of self, allowing things to be, knowing what you know from your experiences, both the light and the dark sides, the aspects that allow you to shift and cycle. So there's differences that are seen in a different rotation, angle, perspective, perception, process, recording. Okay, yeah, this is definitely more for you guys, sorry. I always like to, anyways, Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. You know, it's funny because you know exactly what the fuck you're actually walking away from. It might suck, but pain is an inevitable, truly. It's the misery that's not fucking being chosen anymore. You don't even need to tap into your fucking intuition. You already know. You know the pain so fucking well. It's literally to the point where it's like almost just not even a thing of like going into that depressive state of debilitation, deprecation, a lot of self-deprecation. But it's also discipline. You retrained yourself to actually have the discipline to show up for you and start anew. Because no one is truly defined by a moment unless you're attached to it. And that is the fucking ego. The ego is so afraid to do something in fear of the same result happening. And yet, that in itself teaches you how making this same choice, expecting a different result, will lead you into insanity. So that is why they repeat. They constantly repeat to remind you, hey, remember that you have feelings, you get hurt. You have things that need to be fulfilled. You've been through that painful process of grieving, of pouring from your cup that was full of fucking bloodied water. You were bleeding. The life goes on. The currents flow. You see very clearly that there is a direction in which you head in, but you do not know what you are actually, like what awaits you. Make a decision. There's a new moon coming up. There's, that's a really good time to set intentions, to dive even deeper, honestly. With the sun card popping out, six of cups at the bottom of the deck and the lovers. <laughs> You know exactly what you fucking deserve. It's about letting it go. That's been the process. That's been what's been known. That's the thing that's actually being chosen now. 
the choice. It's the balance. This is the lover's card, ruled number six, ruled by Gemini. The lovers is literally the divine masculine and the divine feminine, ruled by the archangel Raphael, the union, the balance needed of both parts. Simply through energy, simply through exchange, simply through being, because we all have divine, feminine, and masculine energy. This is the lover's card. Yes, partnership, but it's also the partnership with yourself. Are you working with you? Because then create, because there's something fucking here for you. There's something here for you. Literally, okay, listen to what I just said, though. Create. Don't think about it. <laughs> you already walked away from enough to know that you're not going to, you're not going to, like, think of your experience as ins insignificant. Share. Speak up. Create in your own ways. Allow yourself to be different than other people with the seven of wands. Lose track of time. We have this. It came out in reverse, but I'm filling it up, right? It went over 1026. So the number 10, the number eight, twos, sixes, but specifically 10 and eight. You got the eight of cups. And the card 18, oh, we just had the eight of wands come out. And the five of wands. You know you're a disruptor, by the way. Don't even, don't even try. But you're, you've you definitely come to peace with it. Like, you're not even like, you're not even like, okay, maybe like there was some form of it in adolescence. Sorry, my throat is so dry. Some form of it was present during adolescence. You know, that kind of like brazen part of yourself. But it's definitely um, exhausted. It's been fucking berated, bro. The 10 card, Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? 10s and 8s. What I fucking said. Be clear with yourself. Be clear with at least yourself, okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, for real. Three of Swords and then the Ace of Pentacles. Work with what you've experienced because that pain is so fucking valid. Don't even fucking start with me. And yes, maybe there's a different sense of neutrality that has been achieved. Understand that there is something within you that needs to be tapped into so that you can continue to create. <laughs> that is literally the fucking point, bruh. We are on this earth, on the physical dimension, to interact with the physical, the physical. Because then we would just be source, we would be spirit, we'd be soul. So, allow yourself to travel, move around, go into calm, calmer waters. Utilize all the elements during this time. So, emotions, the physical, material realm, your thoughts, communication, and also your creativity, your passion. Move forward with the intention of love. Move forth with the um, intelligence of your past experiences. Like, please allow yourself the grace of you. God damn it. Well done. Okay, so that is the collective message. Thank you so much for being here. It's been Psyche Kai. And if you, oh, if you're interested in a personal, you can commission me by emailing me psychikai at gmail.com other than that thank you thank you for fucking being here thank you for being you thank you for being alive truly and i'm sending you so much love on your own spiritual journey